Good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 28, 2014. I am Karma, and I am in Miss Kersher's class. I am Mia Davila. I am in Miss Kersher class. Grade K through three are in special day three. Grade four to five are in special day one. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Let us now say the school pledge. Today I will make a choice to have a good day. I will strive to be the best that I can be. I respect all of those fellow students and myself. I'm accountable for my words and my actions. It is my responsibility to learn something new. I aim to the Lord and depart to serve from a proud community. Let us now say the no place for hate promise. I promise to do my best to treat everyone fairly. I promise to do my best to be kind to everyone, even if they are not like me. If I see one being hurt or bully, I will I'll tell a teacher. Everyone should be able to feel safe and happy in school. I want our school to be no place for hate. Please pause for quiet reflection. Thank you. You made me be seated. The L.O. Kimberly College Readiness Word is transcript. A transcript is an official document showing the educational work of students in a school or a college. Today for lunch we are having vegetable soup with grilled cheese sandwiches, chicken rings, tuna salad plate with crackers, steamed broccoli, whole wheat roll, and diced pineapple. Sound good to me. Hey, Mir, what is a rapper's favorite toy? I don't know. What is a rapper's favorite toy? A yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> and now for a few words of wisdom. Good morning, L.O. Kimberly Elementary. This is Miss Durham with a few words of wisdom. Have you ever heard people talking about climbing the ladder of success? Luis Nogales is a great climber. He climbed his way up from working in the crop fields to a very important job as president of a company that tells people the news. His climb was made easier because of his love of learning and because he lived in a country where he was guaranteed a good education. Luis Nogales traveled all over the world, and the more he traveled, the more he understood that. America is the greatest place in the world for people to become the best they can be. We are lucky to live in a country where everyone has a chance to climb the ladder of success. Today, take a moment to be grateful for the opportunities you have as an American citizen to go to school and to reach your goals. With something to think about, this is Ms. Durham. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. All science fair projects are due this Friday, October 31st. We can't, we can't wait to see the awesome science and social study project you have created. Teachers, the teacher of the year and support person of the year banquet is Friday, November 14th. Tickets are $55. Please pay Miss Cameron as we celebrate Miss Willis and Miss Huggles Brown. We will have a school dance Friday, October 31st. Admissions is three canned goods. The canned goods will help us get to the Soul Circus. There will be popcorn, candy, and juice for sale. See you at the dance. Our school is teaming up with the Atlanta Falcons in the Fill Up and Go project. We want you to make sure you eat breakfast at school. After all, 
breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yesterday, 245 of you ate breakfast. Tomorrow, we want 10% more of you to eat breakfast. That's 25 more students. If you eat breakfast, you'll have a chance to be in a commercial to advertise breakfast. So be sure to eat your breakfast. Hello, Kimberly Elementary School. OMG, it has been an amazing Red Ribbon Week. On Monday, we had Wacky Tacky Day. Today, it is, we're not gonna let drugs hurt us, so I hope you have your, your bandages on. Now, tomorrow, we are going to follow our dreams by not letting drugs take a hold of us. So, tomorrow, make sure you wear your pajamas. Did you ever realize, I wonder, how did Red Ribbon Week come about? It all started by this famous police officer, Enrique Kiki Camarena. He said he was gonna take a stand about drugs. He didn't want drugs affecting our children. So he took a stand. Unfortunately, he did lose his life, but we pay homage to him. So make sure you participate every day you can. And remember, stay drug free. Hello, my name is Cheryl Miller, and I am in Ruby's first grade class. Hello, my name is Star Wilbur, and I am in Ruby's first grade. Today, we want to talk to you about a book that came in last week to our, to our media center. The book is called Mr. Bud, Where's the Coat? The author is Connor Goodrich. And this book is about a little dog whose name is Mr. Bud. It has a coat on his head. It has a dog and his brother named Cesaro laughed at him. I wonder why he laughs at him. Please come into the media center so you can check out this new book and find out why he has a coat on his head and why his brother is laughing at him. Have a great Tuesday at L.O. Kimberly Elementary School. And remember, be respectful, be responsible, 